you're just joining us, we're following a breaking news story out of Madison County where a fuel tanker loaded with 7,000 gallons of fuel is on fire. And you can see some of the video that was just sent to us behind me. We're going to take a live look now at the scene from our weather bug camera. And it looks like most of these cases are the Omicron variant. How long is this peak going to last? One of the questions asked by senators this week is whether Judge Jackson sees the Constitution as living or not. But what does that mean? Fox 24 takes you further now. I've broken it down for you using information from the law schools at Harvard University and the University of Chicago. Follow me. Let's go over it. In a nutshell, people who see the Constitution through this lens think the document should evolve along with the nation. Right now, Maria Fossey, an Arkansas Razorback alum, is holding an event just a few hundred yards to my right. She's got a bunch of young kids, lots of them girls. It's easy for you to love baseball when your team's got the best record. Hey, huh? how about them <laughs> Dodgers? I know, right? By the way, <laughs> love that we're starting SEC play this early because now in the very yeah. middle of the season, we get to take a random trip to Provo, Utah. I think we both like our coffee hot, don't we? Yeah. My favorite song from Trout Fishing in America, I went over the chorus with you, and you're going to do it with me. Okay. Ready? And we're going to say it fast enough. I want it. All I want is a proper, proper cup, cup of coffee, coffee and made and in a proper, proper copper coffee, coffee pot. pot. There you go. <laughs> it's National Paper Airplane Day. We wanted to see your planes fly. We called out to you on social media. We put it on Instagram. And a lot of you sent in your videos. Dan and I made our own, too. This is the Foxy Flyer. All right, Josh. How much has Josh Allen sunk your fantasy team tonight? Um, he, he's sinking it pretty bad right now. As a matter of fact, I'm getting cooked. Got to be like a 30-point right hole or something. Yeah, I'm down by quite a bit. That's I'm tough. seeing that win probability go down oh, by each second, no. unfortunately. So while you're getting cooked, hopefully the student section on Saturday doesn't get cooked too much. It's going to be a hot one. The Children's Safety Center in Springdale helps thousands of local kids in abusive situations, and it recently found itself facing a problem, solved in part by middle schoolers. Here's the dilemma. The center recently decided to move locations, so the walls of its current building had to be preserved somehow. That's because those walls have thousands of handprints from kids who have been helped by the center, and local students found a way to make those handprints come alive with the stories of the kids who left them. 13,000 handprints and the stories behind them. They deserve to be recognized and shown by their stories because they're just kids like us. As a seventh grader at Sonora Middle School in Springdale, Takumi Espino helped create a three-dimensional walkthrough of the handprints on the walls of the Children's Safety Center in his hometown. We used the iPad to draw all the icons for each kid that had a story. Click on the icons he created and you can read the story of one of the children helped by the center. They've added in links mm -hmm. and hyperlinked things into the tour where you can really get a sense of not just walking through it, but get content as well. Derek Ratchford is a facilitator at Sonora for a program called EAST. Ratchford says some of his own students face abusive situations, so he contacted the Children's Safety Center. It's amazing to when we start talking Children's Safety Center, how many kids will speak up and say, they changed my life. Mm -hmm. um, they helped me, helped me through some of the darkest times of my life, and um, kids are not shy to talk about that. On top of getting those kids the help they needed, Ratchford arranged for his students to help with preserving the handprints the center thought it would be losing in the move. People don't want to see them go away because they're real stories and they're human stories. We went in and filmed the center with a 360 camera. Ratford created a unique assignment for the middle schoolers to preserve the meaning of these walls that would otherwise be gone forever. Tearing down all the memories that have been and all the healing that has been in these hallways is a really sad way to lose everything. After getting the visual aspect of the 360 tour, the kids went to work on the next layer, storytelling. Genesis Alba was given that task. They imported the kids' stories using Google Slides into Kula, the app we're using for the 360 store. Those stories have made an impact on the Sonora students. It's been powerful to, for them to see and, and hear the stories of the kids and then have to recreate that into the tour. The stories really caught my eye, especially doing this project. Erica Martinez found herself empathizing with those kids. Well, not only do I go through things, but I also want to learn about what other people go through. The impact is strongest on the safety center workers who helped the kids who made those handprints. They really are our inspiration every day. They push us forward. They mean a lot to us. Those stories are what we do, they're our mission. They represent everything that we're about. Those children and the safety center now helping educate and involve a new generation through Sonora Middle School. I see kids that are willing to do anything to help their 
their neighbor or their community in whatever way that they can. Um, and sometimes it's just telling their story. And that's what these kids have been so great at with the center. You can take the tour for yourself by following the link we'll have posted on our website tonight, fox24news.tv. And we've also posted more information about the Children's Safety Center so you can learn about its mission and reach out if you know of a child who needs help.